So the other thing I was going to talk about was this, which is, um, this is a thing called CG500. And I'm going to start off a new project. And when you open that up, you can see you end up with something actually which looks exactly the same. Because this is effectively a viz title, but instead of being a plugin for EDIUS or something like that, it's a, pro it's a, a program which um, you use for doing live titling. So, you know, you'll make up a title, do all the same stuff I was doing with it a minute ago. And the easiest thing is because I'm in a hurry, I'm going to use a template. I'll shove one of those up there. Uh, let's shove one of those up there. So, you know, I've got a particular title, an animated title coming in there, which is a template. Let's make up another one. That's coming in. What else have we got? So I'm making up several titles here. The reason being that I'm going to then use these later on in another part of the program. The actual interface is exactly the same as this title. Uh, it doesn't have some of the plugins, so it doesn't have the 3D particle plugin, although it's got that thing that I used to draw a line. But it's basically um, sort of equivalent, if you like, to this title one, if anyone was familiar with this title one. But this part of it is exactly the same. So if you know how to use this title, you can do this side of it. You can do all the animation and everything else that, uh, that you're able to do in this title. The difference is that this is intended to do live titles. So if I come out of that and I come into this, you can now see all of a sudden I'm getting an output from my Black Magic gizmo, which is plugged into the computer, <coughs> which is showing the picture coming in from the camera over there with a, a title over the top of it. And I can just drag some of these titles in here and turn on play. And then what it will do is if I press the enter key, it'll actually put that title up on screen. Obviously, I'd have customized it to change all the words and everything else. Uh, then hit enter again, it will go away. Um, I've got, just to go through this quickly, I've got three different playlists of different things that can pop up here. So I can stack up a whole bunch of different titles. Um, I can drag in more templates from over here. And if I, this one up here, if I click the enter key, then that one happens. If I click the plus key on the number keyboard, that happens. If I do the minus key, that one happens. So I say if I do plus, then that one comes up. So what you do, you'll see you're getting ready for a bit of broadcasting, you want to live, you want some titles to go up on the screen. You get your titles ready, you get your templates all ready, then you'd say, right, I'm going to need this to come up, and this to come up, and this to come up. You can type in a time code, so you can say, right, this starts at a particular time, or you can just sit here, and it'll play that title, which then disappeared off screen, and then by pressing the plus button again, it'll play the next one. Now, there are different templates, so that some of them will come on screen and then disappear, like that one. Others, like the, uh, the one that I had at the top here, um, I think that was one that actually stayed there and then waited for me to press enter to go away again. I can always pause them as well, so it pops up on screen. I can leave the caption on screen until I press enter, and then it will disappear again, just carry on with the animation. And you can do sort of any of the animated titling stuff that you've actually got, say, inside of this title. You can drag them all in, and let's uh, play this lot. Up that comes, let's just pause it so it stays on screen. And then, like it says, you press the minus key just to carry on. So, you know, just the only difference is that you've got three separate lists of playlists. So, you can make up three different lists of titles that you might need for different events. And then, depending on which key you press, that's when it's going to play that title. You can also preview these things. So, rather than playing it here, I can pop it up in the preview screen and preview it. I can also change it. So, if I come in here and um, if I stop doing it live, before I go up, I can actually come in here and I can edit stuff. So I can come in here and do things like change some of the words. Helps if you don't press the space bar. Now in this case, it's a bit like using that small viz title interface that I had inside of Edius. You only get at some of the things. But if all you need to do is you need to change something, or so somebody says, hang on, you're, you're about to put... Um, I, was, I was thinking of trying to think of a current presenter and Cliff Mitchell more came to my head for some weird reason. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. He's brilliant. Anyway. That was a okay. bad moment. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Kenneth Kendall. No, okay. <laughs> Reginald Mordley. I don't know. Anyway, so you want to type somebody's name because you spelt it wrong, then you can pop in here and change it or you can go back into the full quiz title and change it. But ideally you get all your titles ready, you bring them in here and then you play them in when needed. And like I say, they can be played in, they can pause on screen and then go off again. Uh, you can get them to play them one at a time. So, you know, I can set this up. This at the moment says that it's a manual playlist. If I change it to an auto playlist, 
and as soon as I put that on screen, this lot's going to play automatically. These ones are just sitting here doing nothing. Actually, if I press the Enter key, it's going to play both of them at the same time. So it's playing the stuff in Playlist 1 as well as the stuff in Playlist 2. So the stuff in Playlist 2 is going to go one after the other until it stops, because that's what I've told it to do. This one's just going to play and then disappear again. Mm. You've also got the option to do subtitles, so I haven't got any subtitle templates in here, but what you do is you create a subtitle inside of Edius, which is a list of different lines, and then you key them in just by pressing the space bar and it'll play each one in. Uh, and you've also got a quick playlist, so if you're in a hurry, you can just drag you know, some titles over into here, uh, and then it'll play that lot first, and then play this lot afterwards. So what it is, is basically this title, but live. No, it's not being recorded, it's not post-production or anything, it is, it's live. It's data video, it's not this title, it's a brand, it's data video CG500. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can buy a turnkey system which will do this, um, for specially built and tested for live events, or David can build a system using the same software. How does it connect, physically connect up? That's well, the, it's, it's going through that box, it's going through the black magic box. So the actual act of putting the video, uh, the title over the top of the video is done by a black magic card. Mm -hmm. You have to get the right kind of ones because the cheap ones don't do overlays. I'm using the 4K here because I've got one. Um, there was a thing called the Black Magic 3D Extreme which was the one to go for. But the, the 600 quid card is the one you need to go for. Uh, some of the cheaper ones will do it but they only do it with standard def apparently. Whereas the 600 quid will do high def and, and, and that sort of thing. So. Oh. How would that link something like an ATEM one, for example? That well, this this is basically yeah. playing. This is plumbed into the computer, mm. and I've got SDI coming in and out of it. So you, so you just it. SDI out of that into something else. Yeah. Or if you, yeah, if suppose the, the video in the background was cutting between different cameras, you just take your feed from the mixer, yeah. plumb it into this, and then put the graphics over the top of it. With, with an ATEM one, you can actually do uh, ATEM one. By the way, is a vision mixer uh, from Blackmagic Design, and you can do titles from Photoshop, mm. and you can have 99 titles set up and sort of switch. From one to the other, mm. it will do a couple of small animations, but really this is much more set up for sort of live events than, than that is, because you could be doing complex titles with um, with effects on and then playing straight in in order, where automatically. Whereas with <coughs> this, with the Blackmagic uh, ATEM on its own, somebody would have to be on the laptop going number two, number three, number four, number five, and bringing them all in. And um, yeah, what are you saying? It's sort of the cheapest thing that does really complicated animation. Yeah, and the next thing, uh, sort of up the food chain. I mean, this the software is not cheap. It's, it's about 1,700 quid so, um, for the live version of this, and then you need a 600 pound uh, uh, black magic card as well to do it. And so, a computer. so you're not going to see much change from three and a half grand or so um, for a real-time title system. But anything else in HD real-time title system money is about 18 to 20 thousand quid. So it's a fraction of the cost for something which can do this sort of uh, complex titles. Have you got the clock or something built in as well? Oh yeah, yeah. Basically, if I switch back to this title, um, you, you need CG five hundred. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, but the plus is uh, that if you know this title, you know how to use it. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, but yes, I mean it's basically what they've done, what they've done is the this title program, but done as a uh, as a real time plugin. Yeah, called CG five hundred, like you said. Like this title a lot more expensive. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, you know, the difference being that this title is you can't do this type in real time. Yeah. No, that's yeah. This title is post-production. It's not live. Sure. Um, you know, the, the only way you do this with this title with something else is actually to make a movie, which you then overlay in some fancy way using a vision mix yeah. in there. So, it's, um, so yes, you've got uh, all the different clocks inside of here. Um, where are the clock headings? Then? There we are. Oh wow! Nothing like a. So which is telling us it's just gone twelve o'clock. <laughs> in China. Yeah. yeah. What do you have? <laughs> so the stuff I was showing you in, in this title earlier on, what this doesn't have is it doesn't have the three D extruded text and it doesn't have the particle stuff. Those are the major things that are missing. Most of the other stuff that I was showing, and I, I only skipped over some of it, but most of the other stuff I was showing basically um, is actually inside of it. But yeah, like Richard said, for what it is, it's amazingly cheap.